Have you seen this video which recently went viral? This is a deep fake video I made with an artificial intelligence. What you see on the top part of this video is a completely AI generated video of me but as an entirely different person. You can see that if I turn my face and move it around, the fake video does the same, obviously. And it also mimics my facial expressions. But if you think this fake video is not exceptionally good, it's because we only did 10,000 iterations to train the AI. Imagine if we did 100,000 or even a million iterations. Trust me, you will not even realize it's a fake. Recently, you must have seen many Instagram reels or posts showing you realistic avatars talking something like this for a successful life rule number one set goals what do you want to achieve in life once you know what you want you can start making a plan to get there rule number two take action don't just sit around and dream about your goals take action and start working towards them today rule number three be persistent don't give up on your goals even when things get tough keep working hard this is definitely ai and gan that is generative adversarial network which is helping us generate such an amazing realistic images and videos in this rapidly evolving world of artificial intelligence one technology stands out for its groundbreaking impact that is gan gan or generative adversarial network today we will be take a deep dive into gans and explore how they are revolutionizing the field of ai so Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side, Asif Ibnad. The concept is really simple. Generative adversarial network, that is GANs, are neural networks that take random noise as input and generate outputs. Random noise as input and generate outputs for example a picture of a human face it can produce highly realistic images videos and definitely many more it contains two neural networks first one is generator and the discriminator the generator's role is to create fake data such as image while the discriminator's job is to distinguish between real and the fake data Let's explore some of the most exciting applications so that you understand it better. But before we proceed, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We see you are watching our videos, but 90% are not yet subscribed. So we put a lot of efforts creating videos for you free. Keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm helps us reach more audience. So did you subscribe and like? Thank you. Also make sure to check our other interesting videos on our channel. If you haven't yet after watching this video, trust me, those are really valuable as we have learning videos on how to machine learning from beginning with the hands-on demos and also generic interesting videos on AI to keep you updated in AI world. Coming back to the topic, let's see most exciting applications by GANs. First one is definitely uh, image generation. If your training data is insufficient, no problem. If you have limited data, GANs can learn about your data and generate synthetic images that augment your data set. I mean, they can create images that look like photographs of human faces, even though the faces don't belong to any real person from the given distribution, from given data. Isn't that incredible? GANs have made it possible to generate incredibly realistic images, art and even human faces. This is significant implications for creative industry, isn't it? Second application of GAN is style transfer. You must have seen how AI applications helps us style the human body and human face, beautify them and put some nice trace, put the goggle. And this is nothing but the style transfer allowing designers to experiment with different visual styles seamlessly. Third one is medical imaging. Definitely, we require a lot of photographs. We require a lot of x-rays to diagnose the disease, to diagnose the tumor. In medical field, GANs help enhance medical imaging, improve diagnostic accuracy and enable early disease detection. I have also recently seen some news where ChatGPT has actually diagnosed the cancer for a small kid. He changed doctors time to time and even eight doctors could not exactly what happened with the kid, but ChatGPT could. Anyways, and the fourth interesting application of GANs is autonomous vehicle. 
autonomous vehicles benefit from the GANs too, as they can simulate various driving scenarios for training self-driving algorithms, right? For testing autonomous vehicles, definitely we need to simulate a lot of different things like surrounding environment, different objects, a human, a cars. So I hope you understand GANs can be used in many different applications. Let's understand the biggest advantages of GANs. So data labeling is one of the expensive tasks. In supervised learning, we need to label the data, right? Data is not labeled. And you know what? GAN is unsupervised machine learning type. GANs currently generates the sharpest images, the beautification I talked about, right? And adversarial training makes this possible. Blurry images produced by mean squared errors stand no chance before a GAN. But not to forget, great power comes with great responsibility, isn't it? Let's talk about ethical concerns in using GANs. Despite their incredible potential, GANs also brings up significant ethical issues, particularly when it comes to deep fakes. The example which I've shown at the start of this video. Deep fake powered by GANs can be used to create convincing fake videos and audio, raising concerns about misinformation and privacy. So we definitely need some ethical considerations and policies around this. Data bias is also one of the concerns. If data is biased, GANs can generate biased, that is unfilled samples. So what's the future of GANs looks like? Now talking about the future of the GANs, what it looks like, the future of the GANs is promising with ongoing research and development, trust me. To list some of these, the first one is improved training techniques. Researchers are continuously working on improving GAN training techniques, making them more stable and efficient. You know, the GPU and CPU are becoming more and more powerful and the recursively training these neural networks is becoming more easier and even more cost effective. So in near future, I'm sure that it is really difficult to identify what is fake and what is actually real. Second one is GANs for drug discovery. GANs are also being utilized in drug discovery, accelerating the development of life-saving medications. Not only GAN neural network, but also different neural networks in AI helping revolutionize the medical industry and the drug discovery. The third one is definitely the AI generated content. As I was talking about, we can expect to see more and more AI generated content in the various forms from music composition, to literature, to copywriting. So in a conclusion, we can say that our ability to create, imagine and innovate has never been greater. Thanks to generative adversarial network, that is GANs, which have completely transformed the field of artificial intelligence. Where I agree that it's critical to address the ethical issues and responsibly use GANs as we continue to harness their power in order to make sure they continue to be positive force in artificial intelligence community. As GANs continue to develop, they are likely to be used for even more innovative and groundbreaking applications. And this is not so far. For now, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and the colleagues. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.